Now, do, you know, you're, I'm sure you're reflecting at this time of graduation on some of the some of the training and just what you had to go through. You talked about this diverse set of experiences, and you got to do it with some of your crewmates. You even told stories on the stage of just your time together. Do you have a memorable moment from from that two from those two years? Maybe during one of the geology trips, or maybe a particular time during one of the spacewalks or the the MBL, the neutral point. Yeah, testing. you know, there's there's almost too many to count. Like, yeah. it's such a wonderful group to be a part of. Like, I feel so lucky that I get to come to work every day and work with my colleagues in my class in the astronaut office and then in the larger NASA community. Like, everyone is here because <sighs> they're really passionate about it. People choose to work here at Johnson Space Center. People choose to dedicate their lives to human space exploration. And it's just always such a supportive and exciting team to be a part of. I think for most of us, our favorite memories from training are things that we did in the field. A lot of us think of our time on that backpacking trip with Knowles that we did as kind of a keystone experience for us um, because we already knew each other really well, but kind of working in that more extreme context of having to figure out where we're gonna get water, how to cook our food together, and just you know, traversing in the backcountry, making decisions and supporting each other, kind of seeing everybody at their best and their worst. Um, hopefully, Johnny would think it's okay for me to tell this story, but one of my favorite moments from that trip, um, we, so there's not much water in that part of Utah. Uh, a lot of times you're kind of scooping it out of these little potholes in the rock, just that like an inch thick of water trying to fill your, you know, various vessels for the day. Um, so it was kind of hard to get water sometimes, but one night it started just this torrential downpour of rain and it was cold and we're all huddled sort of under this overhang trying to stay dry and Johnny's tromping around in the puddles. He's wearing <laughs> this big camouflage poncho and I just remember looking up at him and my, my headlamp was shining on him. It was dark and he was using his poncho as a funnel to shoot rainwater into all the water bottles and pots and pans and he just looked up at me with this really excited look on his face and said, Kayla, look at all this free water. <laughs> and it made me laugh so hard because it's just like, it's in those moments where people are cold and tired and you know maybe a little bit bummed out and seeing one of your peers, your teammates, like literally the glass is half full for him. You know, he's just like, this. look at all this free water. And you're like, you can think like, oh, it's cold, terrible rain. But for him, he was choosing to see it from a different perspective. And that's the kind of teammate you really want in those hard moments because all of a sudden everyone's laughing, everyone's morale is boosted. And that's just Johnny being Johnny, you know, Johnny being himself and being willing to share himself with us really brought the team out of, you know, a tough moment. And so it's things like that that you just always think about. Yeah, you know, you can you can say all oh, you need these team skills all you want, but it's stories that like that that really lock yep. it in. Just like when when things are really down, being able to rely on each other um, mm -hmm. and and knowing each other's strengths, weaknesses, ups, downs, um, knowing what everyone's going through. That's critical to the success of a mission because it's, it's a just great you. Story. And <laughs> that's a wonderful story. Yeah. So this is this is what you're talking about when you talk about yeah. when you talk about yeah. your 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 interpersonal skills. I'm sure that's a big part of the the interview process just by itself is just how not only who they are and understanding their background yeah. but how they're interacting with each other yeah we get asked a lot right yeah. what advice can you give somebody who's got been invited to do an interview and right again the advice comes to just be yourself right and not you're not trying to kind of fake your way through the interview process being someone you're not we're really looking for people who are genuine and real so if you know having interviewed Johnny that story doesn't really surprise me that's exactly <laughs> what I would have expected from him yeah I remember um, coming down for my first interview and we come to we came down in groups of 10 for our class yeah. and meeting all the other candidates I was just so blown away by how talented and wonderful all of them were and it's it's hard not to feel a little bit of imposter syndrome, you know, you're like, what am I doing here? Like, what did they really see in me? And kind of wondering, you know, when I go into that interview, interview room and sit at the end of this long table with all of these astronauts and senior NASA officials, like, what are they looking for? What do they want from me? And I remember going into my interview, for some reason, the last thing I thought before I walked in the door was I, was, I said, don't make any jokes. Because I was so worried I was like, going to say something sarcastic or oh, yeah. whatever, you know, show my sense of humor and it wouldn't be received the right way because they didn't know me very well. And I sat down and we were talking and it didn't take long before 
uh, Tonto, Reed Wiseman, made some sort of joke at me and just instinctually, you know, that's just how you interact. He's a naval did, officer, yeah, too. That's just oh, how yeah. you interact. You kind of talk trash to each other. Mm -hmm. You dished it and back. I dished it right back <laughs> at him. And there was this moment of silence, and I was like, oh, no, that was the one thing you weren't supposed to do. <laughs> but Don't then Chell Lindgren started laughing. Yeah, Everyone yeah. started laughing. And it just relaxed me. And I just went, you know, in that moment, really yeah. quick, I was just like, you know, I'm just going to be myself. Hmm. And if that's what they're looking for, awesome, I'll feel authentic in doing it. And if not, they probably know that too, so that's okay. Right. Yeah. Um, and so it, that moment really helps me just be like, be a human, be myself, be, yeah. show who you Good are, human. Um, and that'll carry the day or it won't. And so that sort of healthy fatalism of just be yourself, be honest about who you are, I think goes a long way. Yeah, because when you're thinking about it, can these people work together, there's that level of authenticity that you're looking for. Because you're not looking for yeah. this facade whenever you're you're selecting an astronaut. You know, you want to know the true person because ultimately, to that story you just told with Johnny Kim, it's going to be relying on that person. So you want to know that person and who they really are, not just the facade of who they are. Yep.